At Cairo Christian School, we have a set of values. We hold to these and believe in them and hope that they shape our everyday life. One of those values is a biblical foundation. We seek to maintain an uncompromising biblical foundation in all we think, do and say. It's our pleasure today to talk to you more about how that biblical foundation shapes all we do at Cairo. So I've been asked to talk about the biblical perspectives that um, can actually be seen on a day-to-day -day basis here at the school. Um, and I actually wanted to use a, a phrase that you ask quite a bit uh, in whether the PDs or discussions that you have, and that's, uh, what are we on about? A biblical foundation is basically the fundamental of all you think to a phrase. It's the fundamental of life. Uh, there's no distinction between whether it's as a teacher or as a person. That's the, the intrinsic DNA of who you are. Your faith is in every particle of your being. So you can't just switch it on, switch it off. It's not something that I come to school and I'm different because I'm at school, or I come to school and I'm different, or I go home and I'm different because I'm at home. Uh, it's, it's the very core essence of what motivates you, what gives you being, direction, hope. It's just life. Uh, and of course that is, is biblical. Well, it's, it's based in the fact that, that Christ came, you know, to bring restoration, redemption, hope, life to humanity in general and, and then the individual. Uh, and, that's, and that shapes just your personality for a start. And then it shapes everything you do from that. There's no distinction between life and biblical foundations. They're the same thing. If we believe that the role of the parents, uh, they are honestly solely responsible for the education of kids, uh, then we shouldn't be taking that from them. We should be partnering with them. Uh, if we believe that all children are created in the image of God, regardless, He loves all of them without showing favoritism, then aren't we here for all students? Like it starts to, you start to realize that there's a lot more to this than just nice words that sound good in a mission statement, but there are very uh, distinct biblical perspectives that drive the mission statement, which then, what you then need to ask is, how do we actually go about doing this? Anything I say is not as impactful as who I am or what I do. Uh, so I suppose in terms of preparing myself for my teaching on a personal level, I have to be sure that my relationship with God is, is current and fresh and not, not a, a matter of history, but a matter of reality. Um, so, that's, so that's certainly the first step of preparation. In terms of the class itself, it, that, that's an ebb and flow thing. Um, some areas it's, it's obvious to, um, you know, inclusion of specifically, you know, Christian perspective is, is easy to do and relevant and, and smooth. Uh, and then sometimes, you know, it's just something that you have to leave it to just be something that's absorbed sort of by osmosis. I sometimes think that it will be as this, as our students hit late 20s, early 30s that they'll go, do you know, when I was at school, da 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 da, and some of the chickens won't come home to roost until then. I really, I really think that. It all goes, contributes to culture. And the culture is we're working together because we have a higher goal and a higher purpose. Um, and so it's not a competitive thing, it's not me for me and you for you, it's us for the cause, it's us for the purpose of serving God and bringing glory to God and creating a culture that gives the greatest opportunity for our young people to experience the reality of what Christian life is. It's that community thing, it's that, it's that um, we share one faith and that, and that shared faith gives us, even if I don't know you well, I know you well, you know what I mean? Like, like uh, even if I, I, know, I know less than nothing about finance, less than nothing about finance, all right? But, but because we have the same um, commitment to the same values, uh, the finance people, bless them, put up with me, all right? Uh, because, because we're committed to the same thing, you know what I mean? And there's such a, a tolerance and a, such a, uh, um, a supportive, working together and the and grounds people are endlessly patient in shifting things around for us the staff and we say oh well now we're going to do this do you want to move 300 chairs you know and they and they so graciously go yes yes ha happy to do that uh, which is just 
you know, massively supportive because we're working to the same goal, because we've got the same vision, because we've got the same values, because we care about the same things, which of course ultimately is creating an environment where young people can know the reality of who God is and a relationship with Jesus, you know, so.